Family, we are done with the very, very heavy and strong meat. So right now, we want to go for the points. And like I said, we have up to four points. So the first point here will go. Make sure you listen to part. Okay, okay. Like I said, <laughs> all right now. The first one is part one. Okay. So this is the very part two. Uh, titled. This is the mystery titled for you and me. Uh, the mystery of poor and Abbe Yehuwah's mercy and freedom part two we did the part one do I'm gonna upload the both together so that the, the first one is the part one this is the part two the mystery of poor and Abbe Yehuwah's mercy and freedom part two okay so uh, the mercy of Abbe Yehuwah brings about freedom from poverty okay so we unveil the first alphabet what did it go for it go for alpha, first alphabet is p isn't it it not go for what personal prison pains listen to it in order for you to know to handle every except you are rich if you are rich now this message is not for you maybe you can also be poor in the spirit but we also look into that because yahushua said blessed are those who are poor Blessed are those who are poor in the spirit. Okay, that is what he said. So how are you poor in the spirit? That is you keep longing for more. You keep longing for more of him. You want to know more of him. Even though he's giving you huge uh, mysteries. Even though he's giving you huge uh, vision, secret, unveil unto you. But yet yeah, you still think that uh, you are poor. You, you still need to know him more. That's what's why, he, why he said you are, you, are, you are blessed. Because when you are being poor, you cannot settle in that poverty. Isn't it? You keep longing. Because you want to break free from that yoke, you want that yoke to be removed from you. You know you're settled there at at at, uh, at all. Rather you keep fighting to see that you are you break loose from the wicked spirit of poor or poverty. So that was that is what Yahushua also meant when he said, "Blessed are those that are poor in the spirit." That is where you keep longing for more. Just like when you are poor, you you want to be rich. The same, even though you acquire some great, great mystery, but you still need some more. Like me, I always I love you know communicating with him. I love relationship with him. I want him to reveal more secret to me. Whenever I start, I say I need, I need strong meat vision. That's what I keep telling him. I need my own vision. I don't want to go by all that John three sixty. Everyone knows that. I don't want to go by that. I just want you to give me my own mystery. From that, the day I will break John. 316 for you. It's going to blow off your mind. Yes, that is me. I always love for mysteries. I don't want to settle on what people know already. Not at all. So, a blessing for my life. So, that is what he meant. Blessed are those who are poor in spirit. You yourself, if you are being realistic, you know a lot of mysteries has already been unveiled in this platform to the glory of Father Yahweh. But still, I still dig for more. I still struggle for more. I still ask him for more. Okay, so this is the mystery of poor. The first alphabet goes for what? Personal prison pigs. We unveil it. Listen to part one. And the second alphabet goes for what? It's, it is O. Simply go for oppressor. When you are poor, you are being oppressed. Where is the money to do things you want to do? No, it's an oppressor. The third, the third alphabet again. Why did it go for? It is O again. Why did it go for? Opposer. Serpent is the greatest and eternal opposer in our lives. We preset it powerfully. And the fourth alphabet, the very last alphabet, what did it go for? Arrow. What is arrow? Rejection. When you are being poor, it says even the poor man is being hated by his, his own family. It is profound and it is prophetic. Listen to it in order for you to deal with uh, poor or uh, poverty. It's a wicked, wicked spirit. All this for deity, mm -mm, it's unspeakable. So right now, we go right away to point one. Point one goes like this. I bet you what cares for the poor. All right. So we want to look into it. How did Abiyawa cares for the poor? All right. Now here I am. Deborah 15, 7 to 8. If, if there be among you a poor man of one of thy brethren within any of thy gates in thy land, which Yehuwah thy Elohim giveth thee, thou shalt not harden thy heart, nor shut thy hand from thy poor brother. But thou shalt open thy hand wide unto him, and shalt surely lend him a sufficient 
for his need in that which he wanteth. You see what Abayo? He cares for the poor. Okay? He said, now, you don't close your hand and you don't harden your heart to them because they always will be in the midst. Like Lazarus. There are Lazarus in our midst. Lazarus is not made to breathe free. But heaven is Lazarus. But before Lazarus goes into heaven, you need to do that. You know, our heaven is coming right here on earth. So there are some people, before that heaven comes, they need to be sustained, eating from hand to man. That is, you are not going to be rich like Donald Trump. Okay? But, they, but, but always, among the brethren, family of Yahweh, Donald Trump is not always going to be them in the midst. Not that filthy one. I'm just using it as an illustration. Then you need to help your brethren. Care for them. Okay? Sustain them. Say, why? Don't, don't, why? That is, you are going to be carrying their load. Why? Hmm? Don't do something then tomorrow and say, ah, 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 I'm fed up. No. That would be Sempenta. Why? Then you will not take that person's proper... You are, that, that, that person's responsibility become yours. That is what I... It's like an adoption. You brought that person not into your house, whether it's a husband and a wife, and their family, it's your responsibility not to care for them. Open it wide. If you also want to borrow yourself, give to him free. Horrible Shandaya. All right, now here I am. The Bori 24... I take from 19, you can read all. When thou cuttest thou thy harvest in thy feet, and hast forgot a shave in the feet, thou shalt not go again to fetch it, it shall be for the strangers, for the fatherless, and for the widow, that, he, that Yehuwah the Elohim may bless thee in all the words of thy hands. All right now. When the uh, okay, okay, now let me read 21. When the great uh, gathering, uh, God, when thou, excuse me, when thou gatherest the grapes of thy vineyard, thou shalt not glean it afterward, it shall be for the strangers, for the fatherless, and for the wi widow. These are poor, these have nothing to eat. This is the reason why you will always talk about when you glean your offering, you know, it's three times a year harvest. Each Three times when you go for the wind harvest, you must leave the four corner of the feet. Uh, grape harvest, you must leave the co co uh, four corner of the uh, feet. And uh, what is the other one? Oh. Excuse me. The first one is borally. The first harvest of the year, it is it is in this month, in the month of Pesach. Borally, borally harvest, you must leave the four corner of the feet. Okay. And the wind harvest, you must leave the four corner of the feet. And the grapes harvest, you must leave the four corner of the feet for the poor. For the poor. And this uh, barley harvest, that is where root was being cut into the family of Yahweh from whose, uh, whose lines Yahushua comes. Okay? The four corner of the feet is being reserved for the poor. Because he do care for the poor. All right. All right, now here I am, Leviticus 19, 19, 10. And when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not wholly reap the corners of the feed, neither shalt thou gather the glean, uh, gleanings of thy harvest, and thou shalt not glean thy vineyard, neither shalt thou gather every grape of the vineyard, thou shalt leave them for the poor and strangers. I am Yehovah thy Elohim. Okay, this is where Ruth came into the family of Yahuwah. Do you see the woman of issue of blood? Where did she touch? She touched the hem of Yahushua's garment. You know, garment have four wings. Your front, your back, your right. That is still the four corner of the earth, of your feet, needs to be left over for the poor. And this woman bleeding for a whole 12 years. She's been poor. He said her condition has become worse even than before because her, what makes her condition worse? Worse, she's being exempted. She don't go to fellowship. No brother, no sister. Everyone rejected because that is what the Lord said. When you are going through issue of blood, you are unclean. Okay, no one should come nigh you. If she has a husband, that man is going to run away. Okay, no one. The most sad, sad full pad, she cannot allow to go to the temple because she is unclean. Now, what brought that woman now freedom? She touched the hem of Yahushua's garment. That is the four corner of the feet. Yahushua did not lay his hand. Yahushua did not cast a burn. 
Yahushua was just on his own. That woman, just like Ruth. Ruth went into the field and gleaned the four corners of the field. That was how she was being saved. This woman also went into the field in this manner and touched the hem of the garment and she was be free. Because the hem of the garment is also representing the field or the four corners of your vineyard that anyone can touch and get healing. It's for the poor because she now became poor. It's her situation now become worse because she have already spent all that she has. But yet the condition they, they never get better, rather right? not get worse. What make it worse? Now that all her resources is finished. She cannot go out there and work because now she is unclean. Now she's poor. The worst over there it is poverty. Okay. All right, now you can read Ruth 2 and verses 2 for the gleaning of feed. Psalm 72 13. He shall spell the poor and needy and shall save the souls of the needy. Abeyawa is he cares for the poor. This is how he cares for them. And this is how he also, he also provided for them. And Abeyawa cares for the poor. He also wants you to take it into heart. They are your brethren. They are humans like you. If you have what it is, why can't you help the poor? Why can't you put a smile on a dying face one? Oh no. Do you know Abeyawa tithe is being given for the sake of the poor? Offerings for the poor? All right now. Be by for private jet there, David Oyetigbo. You will rust in here because you are taking from, the, you are robbing the poor. Oh, here I am, uh, the Borin, 14, 22 to 29. That is uh, Deuteronomy. I'm going to read some parts. You can do all the seven verses. I just want to read some part. Okay, I'm taking from 28. That strong drink over there. This is where this man is making a very huge mistake. Yeah, you should have considered it as a translation error. Why they call him freeze? He says it's, it's freeze. Okay, the one that is fighting against his brain right now that uh, they shouldn't be taking time from people. That tithe is not biblical. And it is true. Only that he will be quoting that the, he always say you should be buying or go goro. You don't you don't know. That is amazed. You don't know what you are talking about. Or should I take it? Okay, then shall 25. Then shall thou turn it unto money. All right now. Oh, uh, we are going to start from, and if the way is too long for thee, so that thou art not able to carry it, or if the place be too far from thee, from which Yahuwah the Elohim shall choose to set his name there, where Yahuwah the Elohim hath blessed thee, then shall thou turn it into money, and bind up the money in thy hands, and set, and shall go unto the place which Yahuwah, which Yahuwah the Elohim shall choose for, choose it, I uh, yeah, choose it. And thou, and thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul. Tithes, how do, do how is tight working? You eat the first year, you eat the second year, you eat the, uh, uh, okay, the third year you tithe. You give tithe. The first year, the second year is yours, and the third one you give it to the poor. The, uh, the fourth you eat, the fifth you eat, the sixth you give it to the poor. And the seventh, you don't at all because we don't farm on the seventh, okay? It is a sabbatical year, belongs unto Abba Yehua. Right now, the first and second year belongs to you. This is how tight works. <laughs> and for thou, okay, for thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul lusted after, for ox or for sheep or for wine. You see, they're not add here again for wine, yeah, or for strong drink. That is error of translation 100%. In the royal law, over 600 pass a place is condemned drink alcohol. So why should he also say you should go and buy alcohol? 627 verses condemn alcohol. Why should he also not recommend you to go and be buy strong? This is where the, the phrase is making a very huge mistake. That is why Adeboye also use it to fight him. And people is believing it. He said that man is a madman. He's telling people to go and be drinking a gogoro. Even mad people on the street know that believer ought not to drink a beer, alcohol. And the phrase is still defending it. So I said, no, you made a big error. You should have known. This is error of translation. You don't. Oyedipo, uh, Ayedipo was right in that. Even unbeliever knew you can't drink beer. You can't drink alcohol. No, it is not allowed. Okay, so that's where I want to read. Now let me go to 28. At the end of the three years... Thou shalt bring forth all the tithe of thy increase the same year, and thou shalt lay it upon 
thy gates. If you listen to part one, you will understand this gate. That is where we go to Art of, Art of Apostle 3. This is the gate because the, the gate, or let me also take it this way. But if you listen to part three, we read it already. The gate where uh, people that is you no know, poor needs to go and take food. Okay. Uh huh. 29. And the Levi, Levi, Levi because Levi, Levi is also Levite. Okay. And the Levi, because he hath no part nor inheritance with thee, and the strangers, listen now. And the fatherless, and the widow, and the poor, which are within thy gate, shall come, and shall eat, and be sanctified, that Yehovah thy Elohim may bless thee in all thy work of thy hand, hmm? which thou doest. You see, he said, you eat the first and you eat the second, the third, all the third, uh, uh, the third, one tenth, bring it now to the gate. Who holds it this tight? The Levi. Why? Because the prince don't have no heritage. Christianity, you are not made to take tight. You are eating a food that is not due. That is why you will vomit it in the link of fire. You are never. You can't collect anointing. You can't collect uh, this princely office by anointing. Never. I bet you why don't bring Gentile into this office. This office has never ever belongs to the Gentile. No way and never will it be. Gentile only made to be a husband and a husband in the kingdom to save the people of the book. Not for you to be taking a holy fool, it is an error, great one for that matter. Okay, why the high priest have to fed on tithe because they don't have no heritage, they don't have no house, no aircraft, no cars. No, that's what they live on. Oh, yeah, they call you have four private jets and you collect it tight. People is, is doomed. Play with the link of fire, you knew it not. Ah, right now. This is where the Moyedikpa is using, you know, to rob from the poor. Your sin is double sin. You are doomed eternal because Abeywa cares for the poor. You don't need, the poor has never ever met to pay tithe. Abeywa never require tithe from the poor, neither from the uh, widow. It never require from them. They ought not to pay. Rather, pay or the rich people will pay and give it to them to live. The tithe belongs to them. The offering belongs to them. They meant not to pay tithe. You seen as we read, tithe belongs to them. Oh no, this is where they are using to deceive themselves. Both the he got crystal kilome and both the sule, sule destruction, sule jossy destruction. This is what they are using to defeat this deceive themselves. And here he's talking about food. You see, as I read already, it is food. Malachi uh, three ten to twelve. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. You see where it said in the in the uh, third year you shall bring all the tithe into where to where Yahuwah wants you to use it. Now Malachi is re echoing what uh, uh, Moshe said. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse that they that there may be meat in my house and eh? prove me now herewith. What did he say in Deuteronomy? Well, I just read. He said, therefore, he's going to bless the works of your hands. He said, whatsoever you put your hand to do, because you bring tithe for the poor and widow and fatherless and the strangers and the lewi. He said, because you have done that, for that, whatever you put your hand to do, he's going to bless it for you. He said, prove me now. Here with, saith Yehovah of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out, a blessing that shall not be a uh, uh, room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for thy sake, and he shall not destroy thy fruits of thy ground. He's talking about food, no money. Neither shall your veil, uh, vein cast her fruit before the time in the feed. Do you still get it? Saith Yehovah Elohim, all nations shall call you blessed, for ye shall be a uh, the light some land, saith Yahuwah of hosts. All right now. In the other place, say you should sell it, turn it into money, and buy whatever you want to eat. That is for you personal. Okay? Now, where is the storehouse? Christian, though you are doomed, man. You are playing games. You are doomed because you are playing with fire. Where is the storehouse? Is your church storehouse? Of course not. Your church is not storehouse because you call it church. Your church is not storehouse. It's simply simply the gates. Let me show you now what is storehouses, where the food needs to be stored. Ignorance. 
ignorant Christianity, you know not, you are deceiving yourself over there, enslaving people, taking money from them. I be your work else for the poor, and this is how you want us to reach out to the poor. Listen now, what is storehouse? house? Deuteronomy 28 verses 8. Yahweh shall command a blessing upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest, uh, settest thy hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which Yahweh thy Elohim giveth thee. Do you see storehouse? Is here your church? <laughs> When you are trying to refuse, he hey, hey, said, bring it so that there will be food in the, in the storehouse. The Torah of me to it's also, here it's also church. It's, it's here your church. Your church is also over here. You are due. Here I am again, bear a sheet. Genesis 60, uh, 41, 56. And the famine was over all the face of the earth. And Yasuf opened all the storehouses and sold unto the Egyptians. And the family was so in the land of Egypt. So here is also your storehouse. Here is also your church. Do you know what storehouses is? Everybody have that have that places. Here they call it. Uh, okay, I don't know what that is. That they call Keda. No, not Keda. You have that is a place you you just put your full stuff. A room you just build for your full stuff. In those days, my mother have it in the kitchen. It blows, it blows some, some pan like this. That is where we are keeping our store, our food. That is our storehouses. No churches. Mugu. No your, no your churches. Your satanic oven. That is not the storehouse Abbey Yawa is speaking of. Storehouse means there is a place you need to store all this food. Then the poor will be going there to take as they need. They will be going there to take food for themselves. That is what Abbey was. So he's not, he's not talking about table or storehouse. No. He's not talking about your churches. He's talking about the place where normally they store food for the poor to come over there and take and eat. Now you turn it into big money making. You will vomit it in the, in the link of fire. All you Christian pastors, you are going to rust in here because you meant not to do that at all. Christian pastors, they are oppressing the poor to take from them the little they even have. Oh no. Here I am Proverbs 14 31. He that opposeth, excuse me, he that oppress the poor reproach is a maker. He's, he, what did he say? He said, if you oppress the poor, that's like what them Christian the pastor is doing is an oppress on the poor. They don't have these people, they are poor. So we we'll go to the son and say to matter, say, come and give to you a yedikbo. You are oppressed. That is an oppress. Some can't even, okay, like this first fruit offering they are doing. It is satanism. They will ask you, they call it first uh, fruit offering. They always do it on their January. They will ask you to submit now to later all your full salary of that month. Really? How do you want that person to cope? How will you, how oh, no. These people, they are satanist people, satanism, they are so satan. In fact, they, 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 their wickedness is smelly everywhere that mm -mm, I'm throwing out. He that oppressed the poor reproach his maker, but he that honored him had mercy on the poor. He said, If you honor him, Yehovah, that is, you, you will have mercy upon the poor. You're going to care for the poor. You cannot take from the poor. You cannot, you take it, little, little things they are gathering to survive. Oh no, you are, that is an oppress on them. And Abba Yahweh said, I'm going to hear that cry. When they cry, because that demon that is called poor a resident is using you now against them to oppress them to, 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 to oppress them. So therefore you're gonna you're gonna receive judgment from Abba Yehovah. Here I am again, Proverbs uh, 22 verses 22 to 23. Rob not the poor. He's still talking about it. Rob not the poor, because he is poor. Neither oppress the afflicted in the gates. You see now that gate is simply means a gate, a storehouse. Where the needy will go and take their food. 23. For Yehuwa will plead their cause. Is it not what I just said? I never know I'm also coming here. Yehuwa, for Yehuwa we, for Yehuwa we plead their cause. And spoil the soul of those that spoil them. Uh, uh, you are going to be spoiled because a lot of poor souls is crying on your neck. They are crying unto God. They call it God. But they, ne they never know that they are crying against you that because you are oppressing them. You are taking so somebody. Oh no. 
will go into, into that song in Nigeria and say tomatoes. You will tell her now everything she gather in general to come and give it to you. That is an prayer. No, that is evil. That is wickedness. Here I am, Ecclesiastic uh, 5 8. If thou seest the oppression of the poor and violate poverty, uh, prevent, uh, perverting, excuse me, uh, preventing of judgment and justice in a province, marvel not at that matter, for he that is higher than the highest regardeth, and there be higher than they. If you oppress the poor, to to, to pervert, to prevent judgment, or to pervert judgment, or to prevent judgment, you'd see yourself as a high person, but there is one that is higher that is higher than you. He is going to take that course. He is going to hear their cry. And he's going to set judgment upon you. Like judgment is already living in all these Christian pastors belly because they are oppressing the poor. Ah, that is evil. How can you? Somebody will go and stand in that soul, be selling only salt. So coming to your children, will tell everything she gathered in the month of your January. She needs to handle all to you. That is oppressed. You have not given some judgment. And I bet your wife is going to spoil your life also. Mm? We are done with point one. Here we are in point uh, two. Point two goes this way. Wealth transformation into heaven is by helping the poor. Wealth transformation. Okay, let me put it this way. I want to give, you call God, okay? I want to give money to God. The only way you can do that, God don't need it. The only way you can do that, it is by helping the poor. That is worth uh, transformation. If you want it to be transcended into heaven, go and help the poor. How about your wife don't need your money? He gave it unto you if you have one. So why are you say you want to? Why are you say you want to give him money for what reason? He don't need it. <laughs> your pastor say come and give God money in your house. That is a pure lie. That is not what he's talking. No, he don't need it. God always gonna eat it. Thousand thousands. Uh uh. Take it easy. We are not blinded. Eh? We are seeing all these things. Okay. The poor. Uh okay. By helping the poor, yes. Christ said don't read or carry the royal law just for an information to rob people. They are not carrying the royal law for transformation. Mm -mm, not at all. Chris Takinome is not carrying the royal law for transformation, just for, just for an information to rob from the poor. Oh, Yedipo is not really carrying the royal law for transformation, not at all. He is searching for information to steal from the poor. Neither, what they call uh, uh, Yedipo, uh, Adeboye, uh, Sule Destruction, Sulema, not at all. All the Christian, oh, Chris, what they call the other one, the filthy, that one irritates me. I want to throw out each time I see that one. No, I don't know whether it's glitchy. I don't know. He, I want to throw out that said that tight was what they ate in Genesis 3. That was what Abaye Wabri judgment of eternal destruction. Uh, uh, I say something. Oh no. Chas what? Chas Okafo. Abi Okafo. Chas Abi. I don't know. Chas Okafo. Christ. Eh, eh. Chas Christ. Eh, no. O eh, eh, Christ Okafo. Abi. I hope I'm not quoting. This one is tall. I don't know whether it's glitch. It's fair. I don't know. Christ Okafo. Christ to Kafu, I think so. That one, oh no. They are not carrying this royal law for, you know, transformation, only for information to rob. Because I, I, also, I also see them sharing his, new, his destructive message that he was also talking about first fruit in, in the whole year. Hmm? I think the idiot name is Christ to Kafu because that one is so sick. And that one, I, oh no. Ah! <sighs> He said Sepe, he said it was tied to the earth in the garden of Eden. He said Sepe was the one that deceived the man, the woman that should eat that tight. And the man, the woman, did not eat that tight. And that is why you want to bring destruction. He said anyone that is telling you not to pay tight, that person is a Sepe, is deceiving you, want to destroy you. Oh no. That one only irritates me. David Oyedekwa said, you can fast 40 whole days if you are not a tighter, if you don't pay tight. <laughs> he said, Go into fasting for 40 days. He said you will even return poorer than the way you went. If you are not a tithe. He said heaven is not going to open for you. And I say, hey, so these people you carry our royal law to get information. So our royal law now, our uh, pain of tithe is not their heaven. 
Really? But you say royal law is a cause. And that same royal law you say is your heaven now. Oh no, you see. They are contradicting themselves. Jesus done away with the law. But the law is tight. The tidy is law. First fruit is law. Even though it's not saying you should bring up money. Oh no. These people are wicked. Christianity, they are wicked. They are pastor, they are wicked. They are so wicked. I don't understand. Mafia, wealth transformation. How do you transform your wealth into heaven? Is by helping the poor. Matthew 6, active from 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. Are you the boy serving for private jet? Does it qualify for this scripture? Chris Akinum is having to now. All of their competition. No, you are disqualified according to this very scripture. We are moth and a rust dwelleth corrupt, and we are thieves break through and steal. But lay up yourself, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. We are neither moth nor rust dwelleth corrupt, and we are thieves do not break through nor are steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also for private jets. <laughs> If he's going to Canada today, we use this. So if he go, he's going to America tomorrow, we use the other. If he's coming to Europe the other day, we use the other one. If he's going to Middle East the other day, we use the other one. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey! These people are wicked. For private, for what reason? What do you need private jet for in the first place? If your private jet is, going to, is coming to your inner room, your bedroom, and just pick you up from your bedroom, fly you down to where you are going, I will have understand it. I will have understood perfectly. You, 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 you want easy life, but your private is still parked right at the airport. You still need to take transport to that airport. You still not to do things like you want to enter a normal flight. Why buy the aircraft at all? You still go the same process like the way you want to also take a normal flight. The only thing that maybe you will make your own, you know, first class. Why can't you buy a first class ticket and still enjoy yourself? In order to use that lavishing lifestyle to help the poor, you are doomed eternally. All right, now here I am, Proverbs nineteen seventeen. Yeah, he that uh, he that hath pity upon the poor, lent unto Jehovah, and that which he hath given will he pay him again. Did you see the only way you can borrow Abbe Yehovah's money is by helping the poor? The only way you can give something at all unto Abba Yehovah it is by helping the poor. Abba Yehovah don't need it. They want his children here, some part, some people, they can't make it. Some people, this wicked spirit has less stronghold than you need to help. I said, when you do that, you borrow him. And he says, he's going to repay you back. Is he going to repay you back by eternal eternity? It's going to put you in eternal rest. You're going to be enjoy all eternity with Him. This is how He pay you back. That is how you store your wealth into heaven. And this is the only way, this is the uh, uh, wealth transformation. The only way you can transform wealth into heaven is by helping the poor. Hmm? All right, now here I am again. Uh, Matthew 10, 42. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no way lose his reward. The father said, when you give to the poor, he said, you borrowed me, don't worry, I'm going to give it back to you in sevenfold. And the son said, in the name of disciple, you give just a cup of water to cool that person's throat down water can, that cold water can represent uh food it can represent more it can represent anything it doesn't really have to do with water okay it doesn't really have to go okay come and drink water no that person is hungry you can take care of that person in fact for life or you can also set a business for that person for him to be getting himself busy every day this is how you gave a cup of water not just ordinary water and say take no we can drink any water we can drink water from anywhere he's talking about helping he's talking about setting people up he's talking about raising people up you can set a business okay you can do things to put smart on that one's fails he said if you do that you will never by no miss mix your reward i buy your wife say if you do that this is how you he said you borrowed me i'm gonna he said you led to him yehovah 
I'm so glad that you can put a smile in somebody's face. There's going to be a line unto you. One later, Abba Yehua will pay you back. So this is how Abba Yehua wants us to care for the poor. Hmm? All right now. Here I am. This is their most favorite. Luke, 10, eh, Luke chapter 6. They will only read 38. And if you read it from uh, 30, whatever, you're going to see. It's not talking about money. Excuse me. Money lovers. Hmm? Well, um, um, let me read from 37. It said, judge not, and ye shall not be judged. What is it saying over here? Right, uh, don't judge, okay, so that you won't be judged. What is the meaning of that? All right, now. Is Abba Yewa contradicting himself? Not at all. Apostle Shaul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Know ye not you are the one to judge the world? He also said to Ezekiel, Son of man, will you not judge them? Apostle Shaul said, Know ye not you are the one to judge the world? All right, now if you are the one to judge the world, so what is this smallest matter you cannot judge? So what is the judge he is talking about there? And condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. What is he talking about? He still goes back to where I first of all read, the Deuteronomy. Where he said you should open your hand very wide to the poor. He said, okay, I'm going to read it. Okay. Here I am, Deuteronomy 15, 9 to 11. Beware. That there be not a thought in thy wicked heart saying, listen now, this is how you judge. This is how you condemn. This is how you didn't forgive. Listen. Beware that there be not a thought in thy wicked heart saying, the seventh year, the year of release is at hand. And thy eyes should be evil against thy poor brother. And thou givest him nothing. And he cried unto thee, and he cried unto Yahuwah against thee, and it shall be seen unto thee. Thou shalt surely give him, and thy heart shall not be grieved when thou givest unto him, because that for this thing Yahuwah the Elohim shall bless thee in all thy works, and in all that thou puttest thy hand unto to do. For the poor shall never cease out of the land before out of the land. Therefore I command this, saying, Thou shalt open thy hand widely unto thy brother, to thy poor, and to the needy in, the, in thy land. So what is, where are you at? Well, 37, Luke 6, 37, what did he say? He said, don't judge. Hmm? He said, don't condemn. And he said, forgive. All right, now the first one, don't judge. That is, you give this week. You give the other week, and later in your wicked are you not begin to judge? Uh -uh. This person, you don't even have no shape. You have to keep coming to me, keep coming to me, eh? Yeah, can't you go outside and look for other pe people to help you? You have judged. You have condemned that person. Ah, why is he, why is she, she, she keep coming to me? Uh -uh. She should also go and look for other, help from another way. Uh -uh. You are permit the one that make you poor. You are judged. You have condemned that person. You did not forgive that person. What, what is forgiving? Release. You see release? Release simply means forgive. Them. Whatever you give, you don't ask back. You can give if you have according to the ability you, uh, you want to give unto you. You can be take care of that person. There are some that needs to be paid back. Which one? Um, uh, the one they call uh, the seventh year. If you give to that person till your seventh year and is still poor, is unable to pay. On the seventh year, you must release that person. You must forgive. You must say, go away. I leave it for you. No problem. On the seventh year, you you are you ought not to ask for that money, whatever you borrowed or you lent unto that person anymore. And Abaya wanna say, be not be be not evil in your heart. Least when you say maybe next year is the, is the year of release, is the year, year of jubilee, is the year of forgiving. Everyone forgive. I do whatever I borrowed to you for for uh, leave it. I release you. That is release. I mean, you want to say, okay, maybe now next year is the seventh, seventh year of release. And we are now on the sixth, uh, uh, sixth, uh, sixth year. And I'm hungry. I come to my brother, can you borrow me 100 euro? Because you knew next year is already here. You will not give it to me. And say, if I give it to Anna, next year is already here. It's not going to pay back. That is how you become wicked. That is why you condemn so. That is how you become wicked in your heart. That is what that place is talking about. Is forgive simply me, release the persons. Whatever you give, leave it. If you keep reading, you see is what it's talking about. Let's go back to look again. 
All right, now here I am. Look, chapter 6, I read, I read 38 now. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaking together, running over, shall make give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye amend will, it shall, uh, yeah, it shall be mentioned to you again. <laughs> Oh, oh, this place is their most favorite to shake it together, running over, give, give, hey, you are doomed. What is he talking about you due to what we just first of all read? If you keep going, uh, 20, 36, 35, you're gonna see he's talking about how to relate to one another. Give it, uh, it doesn't necessary has to be money. It goes by all and all and it can be your time. It can be your care. It can still go for food. It can still be your patient. It can be anything you do in order to prosper the household of Abbe Yehuwa, in order to raise a single soul to his or her feet. He's still talking about the poor. You give it to the need. If I have, why, why should you give unto me? I don't need it. Uh uh. What is your problem? If I'm wealthy, I have money. Why are you giving to me? Give it always go for the poor, the needies. If I am not in it, why must you give it? No, I won't take it because I'm going to be greedy that time. I have it, I'm not suffering. I have my heart, I have my car, I can do all things. Rather, I'm the one to be giving. The poor has never ever met to give. If they say they want to do you no know, station like the widow, uh, uh, widow offering, fine, if you want. If you want, it's not an obligation. That was why you're also, also a warder because it isn't an, an obligation. That is personal. Nobody tax her. The Yahushua asked her to come and give her last uh, uh, the, the, the little coin she have. No, she just left Abba Yahuwa and said, hey, it doesn't matter even though I'm poor. Let me still go and put all free for my father. Ah uh ah. -uh. This I also have a little. And there are some people that doesn't have at all. Let me also go on because every offering always go for the poor. Always go for the widow. Always go for the for the needies. It's not made for the rich. What you think? But you have it for private and you still collect it all tight, you still collect offering. Uh oh that your case is serious. Oh 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 undeniable. It is settled. Giving is talking is still talking about giving to the needies. You can give them your time. You can run after them. You can give them your 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 your, your, your patient. Maybe they are misbehaving. You can give them whatever that needs to build so into the household of Abbe Yehovah. You can give. That is what he's talking about. It's not money. Now that you can also give money, you can give money also. But you cannot give. How, why should the poor? You see now, Christianity is upside down. Christianity is working with their head instead of working with their uh, foot. The poor, the rich needs to give to the poor. But in the Christian, the poor is giving to the rich. That is a cause you are taking from the poor. Mm -mm. It's not meant to be so. The widow's offering, nobody asks her. That is personal relationship. It's not. It's not an obligation. She want to make a difference. Let me also give because she have. If you don't have it, like Lazarus, can Lazarus give? No, not at all. Here I am. Proverbs eleven twenty five. The laborer, excuse me, so shall be made. Oh, where am I? Yeah. Okay. Sh yes. I'm right. The laborer so shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself it still goes like this way i bet you what said the only way you are going to borrow him borrow him borrowed him money it is by giving to the poor and here he said if you watch it others abaya yehovah himself is the one to water you what is what does water does it will wet all your ground that there is no dust dust simply means dryness hmm? dryness but now he said you will be like the tree planted by the rivers of water and you're going to be bringing forth fruit at all time at all season because abba yowa himself is the one that is watering you direct if i watered you give you something in return abba yowa is the one to water me himself i'm going to be receiving double than what i gave unto you because i lent to him he's returning it back is a business okay but in the christian and also the rich has to take from the poor. So that is how upside that that, that, that that religion is. They always get it the other way around. They have never ever get it right. Always the other way around. 
You rich, take it from the poor every Sunday, your man Sunday day. You take it from the poor. All right, now here I am, Acts of Apostles 4, 34 to 37. Neither was there, listen now, neither was there any, any among them that lacked. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses, sought them and brought the pieces of the things that were sold and let them down at the apostles' feet. And distributions were made unto every man, not some man, unto every man, not single man, unto every man according as he had need. Okay. And uh, uh, and Jesus, who by the apostles was uh, was surnamed Barnabas, which is translated uh, uh, being in, inter interpreted the son of uh, uh, consolation, a Lewi, and of the uh, country of Cy Cy Cyprus, having having land, sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Do you see what the apostle of my husband doing? Selling their houses to feed the poor, really? But this is how this is what Abbe Yawa needs. This is only way. What 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 are they doing? This on this only way you can transform wet into heaven. This is by helping the poor. You have to sell your house, or you have to sell four is for private jets and give to the poor. That every I know the ministry is so large, the coven is coven, the college is so large. That everyone in that coven has no need at all. Everyone is being sanctified. Everyone is being okay by their names. You are well sanctified. Really? That everyone in that congregation or that coven has no need at all? No need of... No, they, in fact, they have whatever they want? Oh, no. Really? Is it what he's talking about? He said no one among them. Need have need of any, everyone was being supplied according to their needs. What did Yahushua say unto the rich man? Matthew 19 16, way down to 20 something. What did he say? The man said, I keep the royal law, I keep the fine. That is your personal relationship with Abba. You are nothing wrong with that at all. Now, what is your relationship between humanity? He was poor, that man was nothing, absolutely his height, heart. Was close against the poor. Yeah, also and I saying, come, come, come. This madness needs to stop. Okay, you want to, you want to enter a perfect life. You want to enter heaven. You want to inherit the kingdom of heaven right now. Whatever you have, sold it and handle the money to the poor. Just go and give the money to the poor. As I'm looking at you now, he said the man I left being sad, and I said, hey, you don't want to lie to me, and you want me to repay you with eternal life. It doesn't work that way. You need to learn to me. You have what it takes to take care of the, a whole community. Go and do that. Why live in laws? Why? For private? No, Christianity, you sit down by yourself. This one is breaking my heart. Why can't you even reason this within your heart? I know that Christianity and their Jesus, they are mad. Why should a carrier of Jesus sit comfortably with four private jets? Oh, no. Something is wrong somewhere. And I know what is that. What is that? Is their authority. Jesus is their authority. Is their foundation is wrong. They can't do good. Mm -mm. Look at this stupid, uh, what do they call him? Just a silly destruction. People came from Libya. You now gave about how many? 20 something. You now gave them for only 4 million. Whereby you now use 32 million naira to buy a car for a wayward woman. Daniela Okeke, you bought a Mercedes a G Wagon. New seventy five and seventy six thousand US dollar, but you want to give to the poor. That woman, she's she's in poor. She has what it is to care for her life, and she's not a believer. But where the poor not came from the land of the dead, what did Suleiman give unto them? Four million to be divided by twenty something people. Maybe each of them is going to be having hundred hundred thousand or one hundred and fifty thousand. Tell me now, how did you easy their pains? But you can use 32 million naira to buy a car for a prostitute, a wayward woman. But you cannot give that 22 million naira to set up people that you'll return from the land of the dead, looking for where to survive, the poor. We are talking about the poor. They said it this sometimes, say you are all doomed. Both you that is praising him and he himself, 
eternal link of fire is your home. Except you stop praising crap. Except you call light. Except you stop calling darkness light. That is darkness. That is not light, okay? So, this, what Yahushua said, you want me to pay you back with my eternal heaven kingdom? Go and take care of the poor, mister. You will be doing this and you will be doing that, but you are not perfect. You didn't take care of the poor. Okay, you want to enter life. For you to enter life, go and sell your properties and get money to the poor. He said that man left being sad because he have great wealth. It's worthy. He really have what it takes to take care of a whole community. Set them up. Oh no, people are wicked. So right now, let's see. When they not handle the money to the apostles, what are the apostles doing with the money they sold? They sold their houses, their lands. We see already. We saw. We just saw it already. So what are they using the money for? We see what they are using it for. And they give it to the apostles. So the apostles now went to go and buy for a private jet, or even buy one private jet, or even buy what Range Rover. Rosaries, really? <laughs> he never. He was still walking with his own bare foot, okay? Because we want to make heaven. We are not after any of those things. Gentiles run after that. That is one hundred percent. I knew. Presently, they are gentle. They run after Weibo people. They are also gentle. They run after what? They run after money. Here I am at Apostle Six One. And in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a memory of the gracious against the uh, Yahudites or Hebrews. Because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Daily, every day they need to give them food. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of Abba Yehuah and serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report. Not the one that's going to use the money to buy for private jets, <laughs> not to go and buy rosaries or to go and buy, you know, Range Rover. Let us go. No. A man that have honest report, full of the Ruach HaKodesh, no man of flesh, that is full of pork, Jesus. Jesus is pork, okay? Adeboye is full of pork. Hmm? And uh, Oyedipo is full of pork. That is why they, they, they are not honest. That is why they are oppressing the poor. He said they are Adeboye. He said someone should, they should come and pay one billion words. When I calculate calculated that money, almost three hundred thousand euros for all free. Oh, uh, not to oh oh oh! I want to cry. Uh, this is sad. I see people from that for what? What are you going to use it for? To buy another private jet. People full of the ruach hakodesh and wisdom. Whom we. May appoint over this business. It is this 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 is the uh what, what, what am I gonna call it now? This is a Yahoshua humanitarian ground. We are also coming onto that of his own. Oh, oh my father, what I lost a way. Maybe it will come later. Uh -huh, maybe it's gonna come later. All right now, you see that anyone is just hungry, just go there to this office you, that you get some food. But we will uh, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer. And to the ministry of the word. And this is how they did it. Every day. Every day. Tell me why people will not love Yehovah. Tell me why people will not run after Yehovah. When all his apostles is so kind. They are so faithful. They are so honest. Giving away even their own house. To let me live. Tell me why people will not worship Yehovah. You know how many people. The Christian pastors and whatever. Their mad Jesus. Has chased back from the royal law. And said no that God must be a wicked God. To be taken from the poor and give it to the rich, it must be a wicked God. You see? Now, the judgment of the Christian on that closed their ears to the poor. Here is it, Matthew 25. I take from 41. I read the other part already in part 1. Please, in case I share this message in the news feed, kindly go and listen to one in order for you to understand this part 2. There is no way you can settle only with this. We are gone a long way. The mystery of poor we unveil already. All the all four alphabet is over there. So this is the point on it. Uh, without the four alphabet, you cannot really get the understanding of the point. Okay, so when I, when I shared it, you found it on the news feed. Drop it and listen to part one. In order for you to get along with us. It can also be a prayer point also for you. Now, Matthew 25 verses 20, 41. Then shall he say also, he's going to speak to the goats now. These are the goats. I said, I don't care. I just give my money to God. Whether pastor it, I don't care. You are a goat. Okay. Then shall he say also unto them that that on 
on the left hand depart from me ye cast into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels for i was hungry hungered for i was hungered and ye gave me no meat i was thirsty and ye gave me no drink i was a stranger and ye took me not in naked and ye clothed me not sick and in prison and ye visited me not Okay, in order for you to understand, we read it before. Go to part one, verse the four. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Adonai, when we saw thee and hungered and taste, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee, then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, in as, in as, in as much as ye did not, did not, did it not to one of this list of these, ye did it not for me, and this shall go away into the everlasting punishment that the righteous but the righteous righteous into eternal life. Oh yeah, the boy is not righteous, is is filled. That is why his heart don't judge him. Oh yeah, the boy, all these Christian pastors, they are not they are they are the angel or they are they are, they are goats. That is why their heart is not judging them. This place is not talking about unbeliever. Unbeliever that is going to be in the midst of us. That is going to be hungry. This place is not talking about unbelievers. He's talking about believer that, that is not capable. Believer that this wicked spirit is waging war and gays. You say about your wife, however, you are going to be having poor people in your midst. But you that is rich, just help them. Until I re reformat or restore all things. When the new Yerushalayim come now, we are not, no one is going to be having no need at all. He said there would be no more crying, no more tears, no more sorrow, no more suffering. Everybody's going to be having equal, equal in the new kingdom. That is why we are fighting so hard to be among, uh, among those registered or listed in it. But all these Christian pastors, they, no one will enter there, mark this message. They are not coming in. Their heart is so wicked. They don't care about the poor. They still steal from the poor. Yeah, sure I said I was hungry. You did not give me food. I was taste. You did not give me... Why? Because the poor is in your midst. You don't even care. You don't even look into their suffering. Rather, the little they have, you also... Oh, no. Taking it from there? Mm-mm. It meant not to be so. That was why Yahushua said, Ma, uh, uh, after Apostle chapter 9, when Saul was going to persecute the believers in Dam at Damascus, he now said, Saul, why persecuted thou me? It is me you rejected. It is me you did not care for. It is me you are waging war again. It is me you are stealing from. Christianity is the ham robber this day that is stealing from the poor. Mm. This saddens my heart each time I look into all their luxurious lifestyles their uh, gigantic lifestyles or their extravagant lifestyles i'll shake my head go watch the mini watch the, the the whole ministry you are going to see some people vain the way it's swear of you yourself you're going to say no this one is really in abject poverty but they are already for private jet all of this have a private jet competition these are demons they, they, these are giant these are osprey or sempet all right now we are also done with point two so we go for three now point three goes this way Yehoshua humanitarian ground so let's also dig into that a little bit this one goes in another form okay let us look into his humanitarian grant for you and me uh-huh second corinthians eight nine for ye know the grace of Yehoshua hamashiach that Though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor. That ye through his poverty might be rich. What is he talking about here? Do you see how Abiyawa cares for the poor? That he has to release he that knew no sin to come and die for humanity in order for you and me to you know to be rich in the kingdom of heaven. The riches is talking about here, the poor is talking about here, it simply means the link of air, I am very already, these four spirit of poor, they are demons, they bind us in the link, in the, in the, in the pits of hell. Listen to part one, that one I am very already, I can't go into that much, okay? Listen to you in order for you to understand. We are poor, there's no way we can enter heaven. If you, if you are poor, can you buy a house? Can you even feed yourself? Of course not. This hour we, we have been poured due to the things of heaven. 
There is no way because you are being poor for the whole. You can't inherit the kingdom of Yehovah. Therefore, he that is rich, you see, the rich man now came to set the poor people free. He now also come now to put himself in our position. Now, how did he become poor? First of all, let us look into how did he become poor so that through his poverty now, you are rich, you are worth the eternal. He said, I wish above all things that you may prosper in all things as your soul prospereth. Your soul needs to prosper first, then your physical be. So let's see how he became poor for you and me. No, first of all, let us see how he be, how although he was rich, but because of he became poor. All right, now, first of all, we are going to see his richest parts that he impart in you and me now. Okay, now, listen. Matthew 28, 18. And Yehoshua came and spoke unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. He owes it all. Okay? Here I am, Colossians 1, 15 to 17. Who is the image of and the invisible Yehovah, the firstborn of all creatures. Uh -huh. For by him we are all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things we are created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. This is his riches. He holds it all. Hmm? Here I am again. John 1 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with Yehovah, and the word was Yehovah. The same was in the beginning with Yehovah. All things were made by, made by him, and without, without him was not anything, was not anything made that we are made. This is his riches. How can he? That made it all and all and us visible and invisible. You know, became poor because we are poor. He need to fear our pains. He need to bring himself low in order for you and me to become rich. So this one, the pastors, the so-called representatives, so should have been doing for us. Okay. Now, how did he become poor for you and me for our sakes, so that through the, his poverty now we now become rich? Look, chapter two. Uh, I take it from uh, twenty-two or what? Okay, and the days of purification, yeah, 22. And when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moshe, was accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him before Yehovah. And as it is written in the law of Moshe, uh, in the law of Yehovah, every maid that openeth the womb shall, okay, now it's okay, I'm not going to tell, okay, now, yeah, 24 now, and to offer as they, as, as they are going to present him, they need to offer either sheep or lamb or goat. Okay, but he said, if you are, I think that one is Leviticus 12. Go and read it. He said, but if they are poor, if they don't have what it takes to buy sheep, therefore they can buy pigeon or those. So this is what his parents were able to, you know, provide. They were not having that money. He came from a poor home. And, and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of Moshe, a pair of uh, those or two young pigeons. And the other, when you go to Leviticus 12, you're going to find what the, the requirement over the board. You know, also making it this way, if they are poor, if they are able to provide this lamb or whatever, therefore they should, they should go for PG or for dove. That one is the cheapest. The poor person can afford that, you see. So this is where the poverty begins. For your sake and for my sake. Isaiah 53. This is called Yeshi Yahu. Okay. Read it all. This is how you become poor. Rebo Shandayaba. Rebo Boboho Sekeya for now. Surely he hath bore our grief and carried our sorrows. Yet we did it, yet we did esteem him smart, uh, stricken, smoting of Yehovah and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The, uh, chast uh, the, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And uh, with his stripes, we are healed. We all, oh, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. You can read it all. This is how he became poor. He was smoting. Okay. By sinful men, he was mocked, ridiculed, bruised 
jailed by a sinful man just for you and me because we are poor we are in the state of eternal poverty if you don't come to bread that causes for you to know that poverty is a demon if you don't come to bread that causes we no way eternal we are going to be there okay all right now how do we become rich now through his poverty listen now you know like romans 1 20 cf to unveil the invisible the visible one is to minister to you and me so the visible one is, is the physical poverty okay so in order for us to understand how we become rich first of all look at around how you were once been poor me i'm still poor eh? but the yoke is broken by the reason of the anointing the anointing that reveals these mysteries of poverty or poor is being broken your was mighty from today on i would never lack rather i'm going to be having a burn there because i will utilize it to the glory of my husband Abel Yehovah, in Yahuwah's mighty name and right now, this is how we become rich. Ephesians 1 3. Blessed be Yahuwah and Father of our Yahushua Hamashiach, of, of, of the Father of our Adonai Yahushua Hamashiach, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Yahushua, according as he has chosen us before. Okay, right now. Okay, before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love do you see that he bless us with all spiritual blessing in the heavenly places that is where the blessing said oh no he said blessing every good blessing come from above eh? from the father of light that is where our storehouses is when abba yawa opened these storehouses on me now you're gonna you're gonna testify about this message and say indeed it was a time to get blessed i don't know you can also be a part of it but i'm digging into my own and the wicked spirit that abbe you should take it away from me i don't need to, i don't need poverty mm -mm. all right now here are romans 8 30. moreover whom he did predestinate predestinate excuse me moreover whom he they predestinate them he also called and whom he called them he also justified and he whom he justified them he also glorified it is time to glorify me yes it is time to raise me higher yes the hour has come okay 100 percent i know that the hour has come all right now here i am luke chapter 4 18 to 19. the spirit of yehovah is upon me because he hath anointed me to praise the gospel the gospel to the poor he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of your what this is the acceptable year 2018 you know 18 stands for new beginning Oh, this is what I forgot about that man that was, I think John chapter 5, that impotent man, he was 38 years old. I supposed to add this, the mystery I also got from there. You know, Yahushua gave him three blessings, the hand of fellowship, you know. After that, oh no. Th 38, 3, you know, we know what that is. And the very number 8, that is a new beginning. That brings about a new beginning in his life. He has never worked. Now you have to work. You are be fed. No, no, no. Now you you have to you know stand as a man. No more. You don't need to eat by from hand to man. That is not what you've been made for. Okay. When you read it, I quote it already in part two. Excuse me, part one. The three blessings he gave unto him, and that represented number three and the eight. You know, it's thirty-eight. Represent a very new beginning in his life, and that represent also a new beginning in my life. Okay. No more impotency. Now it's fruitfulness. In Abba Yehuwah's mighty name. Because he has already been sent to me. He said, he said to heal the broken hearted. You know to, to preach to the poor. Are you poor? He said he himself became poor before us. He, through his poverty you become rich. That was why he also said blessed are those who are poor in the spirit. Like when a man is poor physically you won't settle on your poverty. You still fight. You still struggle you know to get more. That is what he's talking. You know, mystery today, you still fight to know more. You still pray for more vision. You still pray for more anointing. 
This is how you are, you see yourself as someone that is poor in spirit, but you still need more. Okay, that is that is the illustration how far I can go. Okay, so that is his message. This is his humanitarian grant, and we see how he did it for you and me. So in in another words, like we read already, Second Corinthians eight nine, through his poverty you be, you might you you will be rich. That simply also means. You refuse not to tolerate devil anymore. You refuse now. You refuse to tolerate both a serpent and devils of poverty. You refuse it. You don't want it anymore. Because through his poverty, you must become rich. You must utilize that power to shoot you on heart. This is how you are rich through his poverty. Now you refuse to tolerate demon of poverty anymore. You don't. No, no, no. You need to put the like what I'm doing and tear their kingdom apart because I refuse them to mess me up any longer. This is another wonders of Yahushua Hamashiach. His miraculous deed for humanity. I don't, I don't really bring all those healings into it, but we start with part one. We did one in part one, not all. Okay. You know, 55,000. You know, we just two loaf of bread. All right now, Matthew 16, 18 to 19. And I say, also unto thee that thou art Kepha, and upon this rock I will, I will build my congregation, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against thee. This is how you become rich, okay? You don't tolerate any more demons of poverty. You don't take nonsense anymore. Demons of poverty for them to come and be mixing you up. Mm -mm. You put the what? You see when you bind them, let me read, they are, they are bind, okay? And I will give you the keys, I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth, it shall be loosed in heaven. And now you know who you are, now you become rich through his poverty. Therefore, the authority has already been given unto you. You stand on your feet and you bind poverty. You buy their offer together. The letter P goes for personal pains, uh, personal prison pains. You don't need that no more. You bind that spirit. The O, first O, go for oppressor. No, you don't need to be oppressed anymore. You bind that spirit. And it's, it's uh, third alphabet also O, go for opposer. No, you don't need to be opposed anymore. You must break through. Uh, break through. You bind that spirit. And the other one, rejection. No, no, no. You don't need to be rejected anymore. You see that woman, uh, that widow or so, that keep coming. I think I also wrote it. That keep coming to uh, 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 the king that has no fear of Abbe Yehua. Okay? But when she's, the man keep resisting, he keep rejecting, he keep reject, rejecting her, excuse me. He keep rejecting her. But she now said, no way, I'm not going to give up until you give me justice and give my adversary. This adversary, they are torturing me. I just need justice as she keep coming what happened the king one day now say ah uh, ah uh, what is that she the king himself not even rebuke himself that demon of rejection has already been left and i said oh cool this woman you are also coming again I'm a, okay now let me just give her what she needed so that i will be free so that she will come here and keep disturbing because the king know already this one is not, is not going to let him be until i give her justice you see because she have already done something to put those wicked spirit of rejection out of her, and that was how she was being accepted. The king Yahushua now said, "Listen to what a wicked king did. That no evil, he don't have respect for human. He don't have the fear of Yahuwah. If he can do that, what 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 about Abbe Yahuwah? He said Abbe Yahuwah will bring justice fast, fast unto them that cry night and day unto him. Like this, Edoma, you are about to go. I keep saying it. It's a not cut man." If you listen to part one already, you're going to hear again a little biography of me about this poverty, when things was not upside down, family not turned against me, they never regard me no more like Proverbs said that the rich, the, 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 the poor is even be hated by his own family. That is my profile. It is real. That is my profile. You see, when this girl, as I brought her, the same mother, not the same father, she now began to display witchcraft. That when she now began to confess, I myself saw the vision already, like I narrated in the other clip. He said she now gone now when the battle not get tough on her, and I was uh, no, uh, un unwilling to let go. Therefore, she now went to go and call the occult people to empower her to destroy me. That the power that she wanted to use to kill me now was the occult power. He said, but as she was about to descend on me, the fire of the Ruach could then not descend on her. He said, this is why, why she is confessing right now. 
And I said, okay. And meanwhile, Abe Iwa first of all refused this awkward people to me. I never knew. I never even knew he's an awkward man. Okay. So he keep revealing this man. I will kill this man. He's a wicked man. I will kill him. I keep pleading for mercy. I keep pleading for mercy. He said, no, this one case is settled. I'm just waiting for the appointment time. Appointed time to get rid of him. Okay. So last night, these awkward people, they really dealt with me so severely concerning this poor. Because she said, okay, when I not came, I also shared this little testimony already. Let me just brief it. So right now, when I not came, where in the vision was in the vision, they tied me up, they tied me down. The tie was so severe. That Abbe Iwana has set me up. Even the one in the up was so simple. Okay? Fast, fast, I lose myself already. But the one that tied me in the down in their coven, he now took me after he has done, I have done losing myself from there. He now took me now to their coven. When I get there, if you see how they tied me, was so un un in fact, unspeakable. Nothing. If Abbe Iwana don't move, mm -mm, I will die in this. Nothing is going to set me free. I keep losing and losing and losing and losing. It was severe, it was tough. Oh, it's like I want to fight, I want to die in it, but I keep losing. I keep losing, I never give up. So you now get to a point, I'm almost done. I bet you want to say to me, the Lord has been said to me that vision. Now, go into the shrine and take your blessing. The one, very one they took away from you. As soon as I got into there, and I see, he asked me where to raise up. As I raise it up, it was a native port, you know. They put all the ice go He says, shrine, it shall go wherever Juju is over there. Then I put my money down upon that it shall go which means the gods of thunder so what i do i took it up i just and i saw my money i saw my euro i saw my naira uh the naira they always birth that one um, um, almost birth okay they now they, they set it ablaze they put fire on it in the half part that is he bent to half but the euro they never do nothing with that but the naira was bent almost to half See, I never mind. I still took both of their eyes shocking and I, I put it in my bosom. So I was about to come out from that coven. This, um, it, it came like a native daughter. He said, hey, you woman, how do you get in here? And I also answered him by a question. Hey, you man, who gave you my contract? He now said, no, Wamagbe is the one that gave you my contract. No, Wamagbe simply means, if your house don't kill you, outsiders can't do it. Okay? Like the case of Joseph. Who was his uh, household enemy? It was the devil used his brethren. Now, who is the street demon? The street demon is Potiphar's wife. That is the street demons. Okay? The house demon will handle you now to the street demons. I forgot to even mention this in the last part of rejection. The last arrow. I used that of Joseph. The last alphabet bow. I used that of Joseph to establish it. I forgot to mention it. You will see the wicked house of demon and will also see street demon. Potiphar's wife was a demon. That is the street demon. Like this Edoma is my street demon. It's my street enemy that is fighting now. Ever since I don't see my sister, ever since she confessed, I don't see her really ray hair on me because other one case is already being settled. I'm waiting for my restoration. But the one that is ray hair on me now, it is the occult man. Is fighting me so severely. Last night I saw this my girl. All of their group, there are so many uncountable. They are like the sand of the uh, seashore. All of them put all red. They want to descend on me. This very Edoma sat on my head. He said, I am E7. I need to carry him. And I began to cry unto Abba. Why should I be a slave to unbeliever, to an uncircumcised Philistine? He now said, This is the very man. Your sister sold you to. So the awkward man, the awkward Edoma is the one rain, rainy hair on me now. Is the one which is, I'm going through spiritual battle from this awkward Edoma. That is using people for rituals. It's taking people's stars for rituals. Abayawa brought me to his, the back of his house. is full of dead people. Dead men, dead women, even infants, children. He will just cut off their head. When he cut off a head of a man, he will throw it into a big basin, and that big basin is full of hot water. He will throw his head that the man he killed, he will put their head, he will put his head. The hot water will remove all of his hair. And this Edoma will fist that man's that is, he will join that man's head onto his home. So now he will be having a very thick hair and wonderful hair. The same, when he cut off a woman's head, he will take all. Throw their head into that hot water in the white basin. The hot water will remove every single hair. And he will not put it on his own wife's hair. His wife is not having a full hair. 
when he cut that of a children, he will also throw it into that belzy, and the, their hair will be removed. He will not take it and put in the head of his children. He said, this is how he's using people's head for an exchange for his own glory. Okay? So now I bet you what you know allowed him to kill me, but it's making life difficult because he cannot kill me. Rather, he will die. I'm praying against him seriously this period in the mighty name of Yehovah. He will die by mortal accident. He's going to be shattered into pieces. In fact, all his body is going to be scattered by car. In the mighty name of Yehovah, who has called me his own. This man really, really, last night all through, it was a serious battle on me. That I shouldn't talk about this message. That he is, he, he, uh, he is my master. He needs to sit on my head all life. I need to be carrying him. It was just, I was not his driver to carry his seat on my head. It was terrible. My head is so heavy. And I began to cry unto Abbe. You will not root him out of my head. As he roots this man out of my head, this man also now, he said, he's my driver. Okay, you don't want me to, Ami, I will carry you. You know, also put me in the car. He locked me up in the back of the car. He is not driving the car. Where is he driving me to to destruction again? That is the point I was when I wake up this I cry for my life because it is serious. What I saw this night was severe about this Edom is disturbing my life. I'm praying that Abba Yehua should help me not and kill this man, get him out of my way. It's using people for ritual, it's, it's an occult man. Everyone that comes his way is using them for rituals. So I'll be talking about this occult man. Enough of this. Let me just stop this and keep moving on. But I just want to let you know that any time any adult notable man died i will not cry i will not even say i will know it is that very wicked animal then i will celebrate powerfully my father because my enemy has been destroyed so potiphar's wife this is why i brought this adoma in because he's my street enemy now that is fighting to still get rid of me since my household enemy has already given him the contract but he cannot kill me rather he is going to die okay so Potiphar's wife was the house or was the street demon enemy that was fighting against Joseph. According to the book of Yashe, the day I will go, I'm going to take this very uh, message in uh, completement. Not that I throw, I just throw, uh, I just, you know, want to add some part. But the day I will take it f uh, fully, I'm going to let you know what Potiphar's wife did to J J uh, Yasuf. It was even using charm, voodoo's, like this Edoma using on me now. He was using wood, he was using shan. Uh, what kind of power this one was not using? Cast his spell of all kinds upon Joseph just to seduce him, to let him have sex with her. But each time Joseph wanted to eat the food, when she cast the spell, uh, Angel of Yehovah revealed to him, Don't eat it, look at what it, the spell is in it. There's voodoo. I'm going to read it, but no, no time for today. Okay, I just want to add it into because he is the street enemy. Like this, Edoma is my street enemy. And it will die in this season in Yahweh's mighty name. So here is the powerful miracle Yahushua did when need comes. I know now he's going to also do exactly the same for me. He's going to do it by himself. Matthew 17, you can take it from 25 to 27. When the apostles were in need, he said, yes. And when he was come into the house, Yahushua uh, prevented him saying, What well, thinketh thou, Simeon, of whom do the kings of the earth Take a uh, take custom or tribute of their own children or of strangers. Kepha saith unto him of strangers. Yahushua saith unto him, there are the children, uh, there are the, the children free, notwithstanding lest we should offend them. Go thou to the sea and cast an hook and take up the fish that first cometh up and when thou hast opened his mouth thou shalt find a pieces of money that take and give unto them pay for me and pay for thee you see so when it when the words come to the words it do a miracle like this so this is the miracle me also i'm expecting now okay to the glory of his mighty name because uh, he said that made it for evil abbey you is going to turn it for good my household wicked demons made it for evil and now so handle me to the street demon to be torturing me but abbey you is going to make it for good it's going to kill you you wicked edoma awkward man you're going to die you're going to scatter into pieces in fact they will not see your full body to gather in your wife mighty name all your body is going to be pieces on the street because you are so wicked you are so evil use people for blood money no you will die and leave those wealth 
in Yahuwah's mighty name. You will not go straight away to the eternal damnation link of fire. You will be rusty all eternity. You and your husband, you, your wife, your children, because your wife is aware of this wickedness. And she couldn't rebuke you. You are giving glory. You are putting, you are using, uh, using other women's glory to beautify your wife. Other women star, you know the the, uh, the three wise men from Babylon, they read the stars of Yahushua Hamashiach. From there, they're tracing down exactly what this Edoma is doing. He's looking for people's stars. If you have bright star, he will just take it and begin to use it for his own wickedness. If you are a woman, he will give your star to his wife. If you are children, his, his children will be riding on someone else's stars. You are going to die, your wife will die, your children will die. You all will not find mercy in the hands of Abbe, in, in the mighty name of Abbe Yehovah. Amen. So, family, the very last point. I'm done. Bless Abbe Yehovah. I bless you for my life, Abbe Yehovah. Point for how did it go? Why should Yehovah make uh, son poor? You know, some people is rich and some people is also poor. Why? Okay, now. All right, now here I am. Uh, first Samuel, chapter 2. I take from 7. Yahuwah maketh poor and maketh rich. He bring low and he lifted up. He raised up the poor out of the dust. Oh. Alright now. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dunk, uh, dunk hill to set them among the princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. Amen. For the pillars of the earth are the Yahuwahs, and and he hath set the world upon them. So it make poor, it make rich. And we, as we read already, say, however, there are going to be, be, be poor people among you. Right now, what who is the poor? When you go to Genesis 3, he first of all make the first man so rich in all and all. Then who is the poor that came? It is the serpent. And who made the serpent? It is Abbe Yehovah. This is how he made poor. Because the author of poverty is already in our midst. The first man was just enjoying glory, riches, powerful, wealth. He doesn't suffer for anything. When any food come to his mind, he just go reach out to the uh, agreeable tree, the tree he needs to be, you know, take it from, except only one. Every other one is allowed to do. Okay? When any food, anything at all, food come to his mind, he just reach out to one of the tree that provide for him. He don't suffer, he don't cook, he don't suffer to end his living. That is eternal riches. But who came? The poverty is the serpent. And like our veil is the first letter, we simply go for personal prison pills. It will bring it to imprison you. What did he do to Adam? He is the poverty. He now came in and sneak him and rob his thief and rob. And that is how he got Adam arrested. And I brought him into the camp of poverty. That Adam had to suffer but eat by the sweat of his face. He is the author of poverty. That is what I said. I bet you was I make poor. He make a, a poverty because the author of poverty, he came from Abba Yehovah, but although Abba Yehovah never make him to be so, but he turned himself into that way. Now that he turned himself into that way, Abba Yehovah is not going to say, I'm not the one that, it didn't come from me anymore. No, it is Abba Yehovah's property, but he's not using the glory, the power Abba Yehovah bestowed on him. He's not using, using it now in a very wicked way to enslave people. You see, so that is where the causes came from, causes of poverty, because we disobey. And you know, chase us out of rest, chase us out of wealth, chase us out of relaxing, rest, celebration, to follow the author of poverty and go and be suffering and suffer with him. Okay, that is the cause. When you also read Deuteronomy 28, another cause is over there. Genesis uh, 3, you see one cause. Go again, Deuteronomy 28, another cause is over there. If you see a lot of that demon, that madman, sempe to come and deceive and give you some kind of guideline you obey, it is causes again. When you go to Deborah 20, you're also going to see another cause of poverty there. You're also going to be seeing it again. Okay? So here is the two causes over here. Luke chapter 10, uh, 30 to 37, here is the two causes. And Yehoshua answered, said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among thieves. Who is the thief? Is what I just said. Serpent is the thieves. Okay, you went out. You that is you go out from the law of Abba Yehovah. You go out from the instruction of Abba Yehovah. 
you now want to go and be listening to other man's presence. That is how you go at Yerushalayim should be the Eden's garden. That is how you go at your Eden's garden or Yahweh's or rules and regulation. That is how you go out from Yerushalayim to another man's path, Jericho, and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his remnant and wounded him and departed, uh, and departed, leaving him now half dead. Like I said, what is the half dead? Because we are not going to suffer for all eternity. Even though poverty is really suffering, it's, really, it's only for a while. So the half dead over there is should be die out of your flesh. Adam died out of his flesh. That is the half dead. So if you are to die for die in your spirit, and that is the death of the flesh. But the death of the spirit, <laughs> that is the full death. So the half one is you to die of the flesh, but the full one <laughs> is the second death. Okay, that is the death of the spirit. That one is eternal. Eternal. No mercy. <laughs> 31. And by chance there came down a certain prince that, that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So that was the first causes. Okay. After St. Peter has already the poverty, author of poverty has come to remove them from riches, rich fellowship, wonderful rest, and bring them into sorrow and poverty to be in lack and want. After I have done that, I bet you want to say, okay, so the serpent deceives you, Ed. Okay, now no problem. It still passes judgment. That's where poverty came. It still releases its cause. And say, you shall be like this and you shall be like that. The woman shall multi multiply your pains. In child bearing the man by the sweat of your feet. Man ought not to walk. Man, just anything you want to eat, as you desire, you just appear from the tree. That was how simple that first life was. Wonderful. Easy going. But Sepet put stop to that. That is where we now that is where we now begin to explain what is poverty, to be in need, to be in lack, to need something. Yes, he brought about it. So that was the first cause. About you whenever care, okay, you were being deceived. No, that is none of his business. But I told you not to listen to him. Now that you listen to him, sorry. He gave judgment. He still chased them out of his presence to go and suffer with the very author of poverty you listen to. Because that one already makes himself poor. So if you want to follow, you are also going to be poor like him. 32. And likewise a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. They also listen. That is, they also care whether you are half dead. It's not his problem. That is a righteous Ab Ab Abba Yehua. He is a righteous one. He will still give his judgment. Even though he's going to mercy you, but he has to first of all give his judgment. Deuteronomy again 28. If you don't obey, go and read 16. Way down to 68, it is causes again. He did it the second time, and he still have one more left over. That will be the eternal link of fire. If you still keep listening to this upper utter, utter poverty, <laughs> you don't want to keep his royal law in order for poverty to be re removed from you, his wickedness to be the wickedness of serpent to be removed from you, he still reserve one place called the link of fire. He never melts, he still passes law the second time. That is the second time we are receiving another courses again. 33 now. But a certain Samaritan, as he joined it, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion. This is Yahushua humanitarian ground, like I said. It is also, you know, Yahushua is also Abbe Yehua. So he now had mercy upon us, like I unveiled already how he became poor for my sake, for your sake. And went and bind him up. He said, I said, I'm being sent to bind up. Uh, to bind up our wounds, okay? The spirit of Yahweh is upon me, you know, to preach to the poor, to bind up their wounds, to free the captive, uh, to set the captive free. Yes, this is how he did it. And went up and bind up his wounds, pouring in, pouring oil and wine, and set him on his, uh, on his uh, own best, uh, beast, excuse me, or donkey, and brought him to an inn. And took care of him. The one he brought us to now to be take care of us as he left. Should I finish already? It is the Ruach HaKodesh. Hmm? And on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two, uh, 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 two um, penny and gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of him. And whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay you. Now when you go to uh, uh, John 16, you're going to find it over here. He said, The Ruach HaKodesh will take from me and will give it unto you. This is how he paid him. 
that is his office. It is the office of the Ruach HaKodesh. We know the symbol of Oye. It is the Ruach HaKodesh. Now we know. So he is the one that is taking care of us now until the whole, uh, uh, his second return. You see, you see the first coming. You see the second coming. Say so when he come back again. So all these 2000, the Ruach HaKodesh is the one carrying you and me. He take from Yahushua and he distributed to us. Live like this and do like this. In order for you to be free from the hands of this wicked animal. This is how you need to live your life. So here is the good news in it. Here is the very wonderful part of Abba Yehuwah. Abba Yehuwah can make you to go to heaven. Even when you already conclude your mind, made up your mind to go to hell. Okay? Abba Yehuwah can make you to be rich. Even, or, even when you conclude your mind already to settle in poverty. So that is the good news of Abba Yehuwah. Family, this is the mystery of this very world called poor so we are done with it i bless abbe yehuwah for his wonders yes he is awesome he's wonderful i just bless you mighty one of yazrael so you'll be all praised that the yoke is be broken no more tears as you see in revelation 21 behold you make all things new now thank you for the new life you are bringing me now into to the glory of your name in your mighty name amen shalom family Sereyamu, Yehovah, Sereyamu, Sereyamu, Yehoshua, Sereyamu, Sereyamu, Ruach HaKodesh, Sereyamu, 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 Yehovah, Ah, Sereyamu, 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 Yehovah, Sereyamu, Sereyamu, Yehoshua, Oh, Sereyamu, Oh, Sereyamu, Ruach HaKadash, Oh, Sereyamu, Oh, heaven, Sereyamu, Sereyamu, Abba, here, oh, Sereyamu, Yehua, ah, Sereyamu, Yehoshu, oh, Sereyamu, oh, oh, Sereyamu, Sereyamu, oh, God, eh, Sereyamu, yeah, oh, Sereyamu, oh Yahweh, oh heaven, Sereyamu, oh Rabashau, oh heaven, oh Sereyamu, oh yeah, Sereyamu, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is from my spirit. This is from my soul, my nabi. Sorry, I'm weary, but yaro. Yeah, ma 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 yaro. Sorry, I'm. This is from my spirit. Uh, this is from my soul. My nabi. Every breath in me say this for you are the only good reason I love. To look at my face in the mirror. I can imagine how will I look like in the mirror life without you. I am a human, born with love feelings. Who never wish to let go? Please think about this for me. If you keep stay far away, like it is now from me. If you keep 
living your life just like it is now without me. If you keep living on alone, the way it is now without me, life wouldn't have brought me forth. Mm, precious star will get rust free. Your face will hit me like a miracle. Your voice will touch me like a miracle. Your touch will free me just like a miracle. Your presence will bring me to eternal glory. This is what my life ought to be. This is what life should I be on me. Your face will heal like a miracle. Your voice will touch me like a miracle. Your touch will free me like a miracle. Your presence, oh, yeah, my untellable. Seriamu, 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 wa 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 i. Oh, heaven, seriamu i. Oh, heaven, seriamu, bo yiri aramu sayahu. For you are the only good reason, and I love to look at my face in the mirror. I can 